My name is Samantha Strimple and I'm a graduate student here at Eastern Illinois University. Did you know that 25 million Americans suffer from diabetes and nearly a quarter of them don't even know they have it? It's a pretty frightening statistic. Diabetes is a condition in which the body does not produce or properly utilize insulin, which is a hormone that helps convert the food that you eat into energy. Now health professionals know that a person's diet is an important factor and consuming too much sugar regularly can lead to diabetes. After an individual is diagnosed with diabetes, the first step in management is stabilizing blood sugar levels and also moderating the high sugar foods that they do consume. Nowadays, there are so many alternatives to actual sugar that individuals with diabetes have it easier so they can still eat their favorite sweets in moderation, of course, and with a healthy twist. So I'm going to introduce to you a delicious low-fat dessert that's low in sugar and it's also easy to make and absolutely mouth-watering. It's called Fruit Upside Down Cake and you're going to love it. So first of all, to make this delectable dessert, you want to start off with a box of white cake mix, a 12-ounce can of Diet 7-Up, two 12-ounce bags of mixed fruit thawed, a tablespoon of Splenda, non-fat cooking spray, a 9 by 13 baking dish, and also a flat serving platter. So first and foremost, you want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Afterwards, you're going to spray the bottom of your pan generously so that the fruit doesn't stick to it in the baking. Once you've done that, it's ready to dump the fruit into the bag. Okay. Now you want to spread the fruit evenly across the bottom of the pan because this is going to be your main topping. Also, frozen fruit is the best alternative to natural fruit. It's frozen within hours of being picked, so nutritionally it's about equal. Now what we have here is mixed berry. So we have strawberries, raspberries, blackberries, and blueberries. So not only is it gonna add a really nice punch of color to our cake, but it's high in vitamin C, fiber, and folate. Okay, next we're gonna add our Splenda, and you just wanna sprinkle it across the top here. Splenda is a relatively new, no calorie sweetener. It's got about five calories per gram and zero carbohydrates. So it's a really great alternative for diabetics who still wanna enjoy their sweet snacks. Now you can push this to the side for now, and we're gonna mix our cake batter. I've already poured it into a large mixing bowl, so all you wanna do is add the Diet 7-Up. Now the carbonation in the Diet 7-Up is gonna take place of all the other ingredients that you would normally add in a cake. So you're cutting your calories and you're also cutting the fat. Now when you mix it, you wanna mix it till about all of the, the powder is dissolved. It's okay if you have chunks, that's not a big deal. And then once we're done mixing it, we're gonna just pour it on top of our cake, or our fruit mix there. Okay. And just spread it out evenly across the top. Now we're gonna pop it into the oven for about 35 minutes after this. Now you wanna make sure that you check your cake regularly because all oven times are different and you don't wanna burn it. So stick a fork or a knife in the center of the cake when you're about halfway through with about maybe five minutes left on the timer. If it comes out clean, then you're ready to go. If there's still stuff on the knife, then you wanna keep baking it. Okay. So once you're done and you've taken it out of the oven, you're gonna have a cake that looks very similar to this. You wanna let it cool for about five to 10 minutes before you go ahead and cut the edges of it with a knife. This is just gonna let the the fruit that's sticking to the side of the pan come even. Okay. After you've done that, you wanna let it cool for about another 10 minutes until it's tolerable to touch. Afterwards, you're gonna take a serving platter, flip it on top like so, and flip your cake. And it should just fall from the bottom. If it doesn't, you might have to jiggle it a little bit. And now you've created a delicious, healthy cake to the natural alternative. So for more information or recipes, visit www.diabetes.org.